I'm uh, Penn Haddo and I'm the project director for the Catlin Arctic Survey. The ice cap, as people tend to refer to it, but really it's, it's technically called sea ice cover, is um, it's just uh, frozen seawater on the surface of an otherwise regular ocean. It covers about 3% of the Earth's surface. The effect is to provide a sort of protective heat shield, bouncing back about 85% of all the incoming energy from the sun. The Catlin Arctic Survey is essentially working with scientists to help them find out when we will no longer have uh, sea ice around the North Pole as part of a permanent feature of our planet. Some scientists are saying that it could be gone uh, and just become a seasonal feature within just, within just four years from now. So global sea level rise is one outcome. Weather changes around the world of an unpredictable nature at this stage. Massive releases of methane and of course the geopolitical claims that are being made for the territorial rights to the seabed and of course habitat loss for the wildlife. It's a 1,000 kilometre journey that's going to take about three months for a team of three British polar explorers. We'll be pulling sledges about almost double our own body weight for much of the journey and uh, the temperatures are going to be up to five times colder than your average domestic deep freeze. We have spent the last two years developing the technologies and the techniques and the equipment to be able to swim up to two hours a day on average uh, between the flows of ice that we would normally be skiing on. With global warming there is more and more open water and or ice that is so thin that it will not support our weight. Doing a survey that's the sole purpose of this project in the field. Its main purpose is to measure the thickness of the snow and especially the ice. Antarctica is a continent covered by an ice sheet whose average thickness across the whole of the Antarctic continent is about 1.2 miles thick. The sea ice cover around the North Pole is just three meters thick. What we're going to be doing, we have a portable radar that measures uh, every few seconds the depth of the snow and the ice. We've got the mother of all drills that will um, enable us to measure the thickness of the snow and the ice, and we'll be doing that up to 10 times a day. And we've also got a, a mini submersible, a little sensor, that we can lower 250 meters down below the ice into the water column. It'll take uh, temperature readings, and of course we're noting the prevailing weather conditions as we go, which is an important influence on how the ice forms and moves. The main purpose of the Catlin Arctic Survey is to do a survey, the most comprehensive and detailed survey over the longest possible distance that we can. The information that we're gathering is being given to our science partners, which includes the US Navy, uh, the WWF, University of Cambridge, NASA, uh, and the Met Office in Britain, amongst many other organizations. They will produce findings, and we hope to take those findings to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, the Conference of Parties, COP15, uh, in Copenhagen at the end of this year and try and do our bit to enable better informed policy or on a global scale of greenhouse gas emissions. Separately, during the expedition, um, I'm going to be doing the countdown uh, worldwide for Earth Hour and I'll be inviting everybody to switch off all your lights wherever you are between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. The 28th of March. So you know what I'm doing. I'm doing the survey and I'm working with scientists and I'm going to COP15. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, 
I'm Ann Daniels. I'm the navigator for the Catlin Arctic Survey. Typically, I'm uh, sort of the cook as well, so I'll be getting up and making the team's breakfast. Personally, I think it's really important for the job that we're doing. We're helping scientists better understand the North Pole ice cap. We're working with people such as the WWF, which will help us to get the world, um, to get the message out to the world. And hopefully, in our small work way, we'll be contributing to helping the planet in an area that I love more than anything else in the world. I'm Martin Hartley. I am uh, a photographer and filmmaker on the exhibition, and I'll be responsible for uploading the pictures and the video and the uh, radar data throughout the entire expedition. Most of the photographs you see of the Arctic Ocean are taken from the bow of an icebreaker in the summer. People have, don't really have a clue what it's like to be on the Arctic Ocean in the winter from a person's eye level. So by documenting it, the entire expedition will have a photographic archive of what it was like before it has totally gone. We're all working very hard to give uh, lots of exciting uh, information uh, and images and video clips and webcams, all sorts of things on our website which is um, CatlinArcticSurvey.com and uh, it's up there now, it's a huge site and it all goes live and interactive the day we set off, somewhere around the end of February or first days of March.